The adverse effects of climate change as a result of the increase in ocean temperature and the greater frequency and intensity of extreme weather events mean that coastal communities in general, and fishing communities in particular, are the first to see their livelihoods threatened. In this context, the Rescos project, co-financed by the Interreg MAC 2014 to 2020 cooperation program, was set up to anticipate and respond to the effects of climate change suffered by the coastal and fishing communities of the Canary Islands, Mauritania and Senegal. The serious situations certain African coastal areas are experiencing due to the rising sea level not only threatens their livelihood and economic growth, it also seriously affects the social and human development of the areas concerned. The Republic of Senegal is one of the action areas for the Res Coast project. This African coastal country in the northwest of the continent has several coastal areas seriously threatened by rising sea levels. For this reason, as part of the Rescos project, the University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria has put forward a proposal for resilient coastal protection in Senegal based on studies carried out on the ground. To do so, it has used the methodology developed from the ISLAB, Islands as Laboratories of the Anthropocene line of research by the well-known Earthscapes Research Group belonging to the TIDES University Institute of the University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria with a multidisciplinary team from the Institute of Oceanography and Global Change, IOCAG, the Technological Institute of the Canary Islands and Rayleigh Coastal Studies. The area at the mouth of the Senegal River in the north of the country is one of the regions at greatest risk of coastal erosion on the Atlantic front, especially the area of La Longue de Barberie, a sandbar about 35 kilometers long and only 300 meters wide between the Atlantic Ocean and the Senegal River. This protects the island of St. Louis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is barely two kilometers long by 400 meters wide and the continental front of the urban center of Saw. The coastal spit of La Longue de Barberie is a fragile, inhabited geoform, constantly being transformed by accumulation and erosion, which has led to its rupture on more than 20 occasions since 1850. The flooding of the river in 2003 and the danger of flooding of the island of St. Louis led to the artificial opening of the Longue de Barberie giving rise to an unexpected widening from 4 meters to 5.5 kilometers. This led to a serious imbalance of the coastal front, the loss of urban areas and an ecological disaster in the national park. The fragility of La Longue de Barberie is also affected by the building of infrastructures such as the Diama Dam on the Senegal River and BP's Greater Totoe Achmeim project consisting of an oceanic liquefied natural gas infrastructure forming an artificial front about 1,100 150 meters long in front of 10 kilometers of La Langue de Barberie. The constant climatic and environmental threats affecting La Langue de Barberie area with high population density focused mainly on artisanal fishing could involve families settled on the seafront being moved to new, safer locations inland. However, there is a strong social resistance to this forced removal of more than 10,000 people which endangers their form of subsistence. The Rescos project, therefore, sees a need to study other alternatives and hypotheses for a system that requires constant surveillance and monitoring. Resilient urban planning of the coastal area of Senegal is therefore seen as involving a set of studies on coastal protection solutions for La Langue de Barberie in a context of greater fragility and affected populations. This results in a need to incorporate resilient strategies based on nature, to search for strategic planning alternatives based on experience in areas with similar problems. Initiatives developed in the Netherlands have been studied, such as the sand engine near The Hague and the new Hansbosche dunes in the north of the country. The Rescos multidisciplinary team is organizing a set of studies carried out around four themes to create what is known as the Fourth Island. The main aim of this is to help protect the urban centers of La Longue de Barberie, the island of St. Louis, and So, and to offer an alternative to the displacement of the population and relocation of threatened districts. Firstly, there are studies linked to deciding what shape the island should be, including parametric studies and assessments of how it would behave in the environment depending on its shape. Secondly, there are studies on the behavior of the sea in the area, taking into account currents and other phenomena. This includes an investigation of how the solution proposed in La Longue de Barberie would behave in the medium and long term, carried out by the National Laboratory of Civil Engineering, LNEC. Meanwhile, the studies performed by HKV confirmed that the Fourth Island project could protect the urban area of La Longue de Barberie against storms. Thirdly, studies are being carried out on the construction systems for the artificial island 
and its logistical planning. A reinforced, semi-rigid hybrid solution is proposed facing the Atlantic coast, with a sand bed towards the eastern front. Studies on the proposed use of new materials based on typha and hydraulic lime, carried out at the University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, are also included. Finally, based on the environmental characterization studies and biodiversity development hypotheses, mangrove-type coastal surface vegetation and underwater vegetation with seaweed are proposed, leading to three proposed landscape plans. In short, the fourth island is not only intended to be a coastal protection area, but also a large natural park, a leisure area of interest to tourists surrounded by nature and local residents. It would also be a place for advanced research on the assessment and monitoring of coastal dynamics and a biological interest as an ecosystem in balance with experimental agricultural production or the establishment of renewable energies. The Rescoast project team sees a need to continue in-depth studies of solutions for La Longa de Barbary area due to the serious exposure to bad weather and coastal erosion suffered by the local population, but it is confident that the fourth island can be the beginning of a resilient solution based on nature not only for the population, but also for the economy and development of the area.